So he's only 14 pounds and he's seven months old. That should tell you a story, you know? Enough. When do you stop caring for them and you just let them go? Um, so... And, you know, there are some people that, that say, <laughs> when, when, and it makes me sad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get through this sentence, but. So recently when I shared that video about Toad and his need for baths and the problem that he has with his skin and the copper and the minerals and everything and how he can't absorb his, uh, the nutrients from the food, I get this question of when is it enough? You know, when is it time to call it quits? When is the time to say I've invested too much time, too much money, and too much effort into a goat that it's not making babies or producing milk? I'm going to give you my standards of when it's time to call it quits in my herd. When is it time to put an animal down? Um, I guess it's just one of those topics that I don't want to talk about and I don't think it's very uplifting to talk about but it's an important question and I thought I'd answer it in this video with with my little baby boy right here to see him like this and you know there are some people that that say <laughs> when when and it makes me sad <laughs> I'm just gonna get through this sentence, but when is it enough? You know, when is it enough that a goat that was born sick or develop a sickness? When is it enough? When do you stop caring for them and you just let them go? And to be honest with you, I think it's a personal choice and I think it's something that you have to decide for yourself what's the best, you know, way to deal with your herd. But in my opinion, he has a lot more good days than bad days. And when he has a bad day, I am not at the vet. I am not, you know, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars in him. Usually it's a deficiency of something because of his coccidiosis he had when he was a baby, because of stress for fighting for teeth, because he was a quad and he was the runt, that really messed his intestines up in a way that um, he just he never absorbs the full nutrients of the food that he's eating so yes he gets sick very often no I don't take him to the vet very often I treat it at home because uh, his symptoms I can spot them like I know when he's a little bit more sad or a little bit more quiet I am on his FAMAJA score I check it at least every couple of weeks I don't even bring him to the stand I check it outside um, I'm on his copper and minerals all the time I'm always making sure that he's eating his minerals even if I have to separate him so he can have minerals at night I usually just put fresh minerals every night and they are kind of in a routine where they know where it is and that usually they don't they don't eat the minerals throughout the day they kind of do it at night um, so uh, when is it time to quit? Uh, I'm not ready. I I think that as long as I can keep him and I can keep an eye on him and I can take care of him, I can do not only maintenance but preventative uh, measures to keep him healthy. I think that's enough. I think that's enough to keep him healthy enough to enjoy his life. He is not a sick goat that is separating from the herd. He's not sad, sleeping by him. He is very much a very happy baby goat who's running around with the girls. He just happens to be seven months <laughs> and, and weigh 14 pounds, which makes him an extra tiny boy. But that doesn't mean that he, you know, that I will ever compromise his health just because I want to keep him as a pet. Do I need a pet? No, I do not need a pet. I have a dairy um, farm, so I don't need pets. Pets don't make babies. Pets don't produce milk. 
I just kept him because I felt very responsible for not bottle feeding him as he should have been uh, bottle fed because he was a quad, because he was the runt and because he was stressed and maybe as he was having the coccidiosis, I should have make, made a change back then. So I feel responsible for him and I also keep him because I love him to pieces. I just, his personality, the way does he does thing, he really is kind of a therapy goat. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I can come and sit with him and he'll make me feel better. Like he'll stay on my lap, let me pet him, you know, make those sweet baby eyes and, you know, lay on my chest. He, um, I mean, he is gaining his stay here by being the way he is. And right now he is trying to eat all the hay that's over there. So, I hope that I'm answering that question. I'm not ready to give up on him. He's having better days. He's having more good days than bad days in his life. Um, the only really struggle is as far as me having the time and making the time, really, if I'm being honest, making the time to keep an eye on him. Uh, but I mean, it's very easy for me to tell when he's not doing great. And this far, I've never had to take him to do surgery. You know, I've never had to do anything crazy expensive with a vet. So yeah, he just happens to be a very needy boy. And I am happy to be the person that is going to take care of him because I think it's very special. And again, I've mentioned this before. I thought that I would be able to let him go if I found a, a home where he could be like, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Emotional support animal because I, I think it's perfect for that because of his demeanor and because how much he loves people. But um, at this point, I'm starting to realize that every couple of months he needs something extra. He needs somebody to be checking on his copper. He needs somebody to know when he, you know, is struggling with his minerals, when he's having a warm load, when he, his immune system is down. So he's picking up on every single lies that is around in the world. He'll pick it up and be all over his head. Um, somebody that would be able to tell when he's uncomfortable and itchy and just need help. So, so no, I don't think I'm gonna be letting him go anytime soon. If it comes a time where his life, he's getting more bad days than good days. If he's any kind of struggle or pain or his quality of life sucks, then yes, I will consider doing something about it. But at this point, Yes, it's an investment of time and money uh, as far as keeping what he needs at hand because my other goats <laughs> don't need them as often as he does. But, um, but it's, it's the price that I'm willing to pay for it. So.